Hey guys, this is Gus. I'm gonna go ahead and modify my G Pro wireless. I already added some core pad grips, but I'm going ahead. I'm a, I'm gonna go ahead and install these core pad skates to see if there's any difference. Um, but what can I? But what I can tell is that these feet they're not really the greatest. I do feel my mouse pad like I feel like it's there's like a drag. Like it's not as smooth as like the core pads on my um, Rocket Burst Core. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap them out and try that. So one of the things I actually like about cheap wireless is that they have these little uh, cutouts. I don't know if you can actually see that right there on camera. These little right here, you can easily take off your skates right there. You just put your finger fingernail underneath there and just. Well, that was super easy. And then go ahead and take this one out too. Before we apply the core pads, let's go ahead and. Uh, Apply some rubbing alcohol on the uh, surface we're going to put this new skates on just to remove any uh, extra residue, adhesive residue left behind by these shitty skates. Let's go ahead and do that easily. These little alcohol pads are provided by, uh, um, not, I don't think, I don't know, they're provided by actually um, core pads themselves. Or if it's uh, provided by the uh, manufacturer that I bought these from, so I got these from uh, Lethal Gaming Gear. Lethal Gaming Gear. So I don't know if the the core the alcohol pads are provided by them or by actually um, core pads. I don't remember these having the uh, alcohol pads when I got them at first. But this is this is cool. And yeah, you could you kind of see there was something left over. Um, so yeah, make sure you gotta make sure you really want to make sure you take away all that. Uh, adhesive left behind because it will mess with your feet placement and if you don't take it all out it will cause you'll feel like the scratchiness on the uh, moss feet and you don't want that these feet are supposed to just sit right and they're supposed to be smooth no scratchiness whatsoever so if you feel some scratchiness it's probably because you didn't take off the glue uh, from the uh, from the mouse yeah you see you can see something left see there's something in there Left behind that make it uh kind of take off yeah you see yeah so you don't want to leave that behind you want to definitely take that out all right so it only seem like the top and bottom one have that uh that uh, i don't know what that is but it has it ha the top and bottom skate are the only ones that have that other extra adhesive thing left behind so you're gonna tap so you're gonna have to want to take that off from the bottom skate and the top skate as a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen anybody explain the whole... As a matter of fact, I haven't seen anybody mention that there was actually another black layer that you have to take off. Uh, this is the first time I've actually seen that. So so if you guys put your core pads over that black part and it feels and they feel scratchy, um, it's probably because you should have taken... It's probably because you had to take that off first. Um, but yeah, just want to go ahead and mention that. So you make sure you got to take out that extra layer of black adhesive on the top and bottom skate to make sure the core pads or any aftermarket skates that you put fit right, okay? There shouldn't be any scratchings when you use them. So if they feel scratchy, go back and make sure you take that out. All right, so now this center one does not have a way to, uh, that little um, cutout so you can easily take off the middle, the center, the skater on the center. So we're gonna, I feel like we're gonna struggle with that. So yeah, let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, that was actually pretty easy, so. And I think this one has that adhesive at the top and bottom skate hand. Yeah, it does. I'll go ahead and take that out, guys. Give me one second. All right, so that was actually pretty easy. Um, so I couldn't take off all of the adhesive 100%. Like, if you can see right there, there's still some little bit left over. But that little bit won't affect the placement of the feet uh, at all. Um, I had some uh, core pads that I had applied on my uh, Model O minus, and the adhesive on that I didn't really take it off well because you could see like you could definitely see some residue that left behind like a lot. And when I put the um, the new mouse skates on, it left my mouse uh, like a little unbalanced. It was moving on the flat surface, and I could feel the scratchiness. So yeah, as long as you take out most of it.
um yeah you should be fine but yeah try to take out as much as you can don't leave any residue behind guys all right so here are the core pads and they're actually quite thick let me go ahead and show you guys let me take out the i think this is the bottom skate yeah this is the bottom no the top skate actually let me take out the top skate and show you guys the difference now you see that you see i don't know if you guys can see that see these are like razor paper thin and these are definitely thicker so yeah they can they should be better and they should last you longer too so let's go ahead and apply them All right, so that was fairly simple and so right away the core pads you can't tell that much of a huge difference when applying the new feet yes yeah, so when you apply the new feet um you won't be able to feel the difference right away, right away just because core pads have like a breakdown period like if you use them if you use them for like around an hour you should be able to notice them changing and it should feel smoother um but the more you use them the smoother they do get it takes about it took me about Hmm. It took me like about 15 to 30 minutes for me to notice it at first But like as you put more time like like three hours in they get really smooth and You can tell a lot more. Yeah, so I think do I think these mods are worth it? Yeah, definitely So yeah, go get yourself some if anything Skip the grips, but get some uh, mouse skates. That's definitely worth it and it made a huge difference um, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and break them down and see um, if, it, if it does anything in the long run see if uh my accuracy improves or whatever but yeah they're they do make a huge difference and they're definitely worth it so go ahead and pick some up if you guys have standard feet on your g pro wireless this is gus from hard run plug and i'll catch you in the next one